time for you to come with me, crew. We are doing a boat tour offshore. I'm doing an offshore tour. You are. <laughs> right? Offshore. Have wind will deliver a yacht. <laughs> Follow along as I join a fairly motley crew in a last minute, spur of the moment, delivery of this 2013 Leopard 48 from Pensacola to Naples, Florida. Right? White, white chocolate peanut butter and apple. Just be still. Just be still. This is Uncle. a 2013 wow. eco-friendly Metro bus. Mm. Tell us more. Yeah. So, how did Video Annie get on this fast, fun boat? A lot of luck, I'll say. The boat had actually been sitting at Palafox Pier for a few weeks. Every time I walked by, I thought, man, that's a pretty boat. I'd love to get a tour. Then, I got an invite. A local captain was delivering the yacht from Pensacola down to Naples, Florida, and was looking for crew. I think it was decided well after midnight I'd be joining, and the next day around 5 a.m., I was boarding the boat to make the trip. I even talked Captain Ryan from Sail Libra into making the sail with us down to Naples, Florida. Sadly, Philip couldn't make it. He had to get to the office, but he bid me farewell. I bid him adieu, and I joined this crazy crew for the delivery. All right, Bill. Perfect. <laughs> See you soon. The boys were also quick to put this new delivery sailor to work, making me put the hole in the boat to clean the speed wheel to make sure we had accurate data. We had a really nice sail that first day. The winds were on the nose, but only 20 to 25, nothing compared to what was in store. The crew spent the day familiarizing themselves with the boat, doing reef drills, and getting really dialed in for the passage. We watched a stunning sunset on the horizon. I love to see the sun as a hot pink ball melting into the water. It was a pretty calm, quiet night. The wind started to pick up in the morning, but we got a report from the captain. The winds had really increased the next day. This is our esteemed Captain Jack. Taking us singly across the Gulf. You know what this means? Our snack tition. So we are uh, basically uh, bearing to uh, this waypoint uh, near shore, uh, nice. Clearwater, Point Clearwater, Tampa, 129 on the on the go to. We're at 120, and we got 107 miles, about 12 hours into the safer zone. Into the safer zone, but 107 is not Naples. It's some other waypoint. That you yeah, yeah. 
yeah, close to clear water. Clear just water. in near shore so we get out of get out of get in the lead. Definitely bashing around day two with a steady breeze over 30 and seas of 8 to 10, but with a competent, capable crew and a good sense of humor, it really was just a lot of fun. Woo! Got some footage from the bow! Oh my gosh! It's so cool! <laughs> Eco-friendly Metro bus. Mmm. Tell us more. Yeah. Um, it's made for traveling uh, through rough conditions of most inner cities and <laughs> ease. <laughs> and it's built, not built aerodynamically for the ocean. No, heavy traffic it, in New York yeah, City. Thing it's great. It is. It's, it's, <laughs> this right here was built to simulate the feel of a bus down the bumpy, <laughs> dirty road. Yeah. They're trying to say how comfortable it is offshore. That, that's our way of putting it. Very comfortable. <laughs> Very comfortable. Good. What else do we have? Avocado, um, turkey. We got our tallest team member, Ryan. <laughs> he wins the award for Periscope Head. And he's crazy. Don't listen to a word he says. She's crazy. She's just crazy. It was terrifying. The whole trip was. And she was up there going, woohoo, woohoo. You see? He's just crazy. But I'm going to save that. That's the confessional footage from when we finished the delivery. First, let me get you to Naples and get you a tour of this leopard. Hello. We are doing a, um, this is my very first ever offshore boat tour. We are actually offshore right now in this uh, 2012 48-foot leopard. So I'm going to give you a tour on the way. How about that? How can you handle that? Check this out. Ooh. We got passengers. Everybody's tethered in. That's great, Bill. Thank you. We got our nav station here. It was a lot of fun. It's almost fun to go offshore. <laughs> um, so we are headed actually right now um, from Pensacola, Florida to Naples. Uh, should be about a two and a half day trip, assuming everything goes well. Underway on this boat. We got a uh, four crew. I'm the fifth, least girly, but they let me come. And we are in some pretty heavy seas. It's kind of crazy out here. I say eight to tens we've seen. Five to seven, and it kind of creeped up to eight to ten this morning. And definitely getting some water over the bow. The leopards, though, have this really cool, I won't open it right now, but it's a nice sealed in door where you can go to the patio area out here where we keep the fenders right now. But it is a nice area definitely to sit and chat and have conversations at sunset. Got some wetness, but it's good. Nice nav station here. We have backup charts down below. Of course, I'll show you all that. Be a fine ship. Got a HF stone cheer. on this boat. We've got kind of stuff stowed everywhere. Um, but plenty of room here. Sort of pantry items here. Bridge here, just totally backed out. Dropping things is what happens offshore. Even a catamaran, I promise. Shove that in there. Don't want trip hazards. Freezer. Pretty cool. Uh, plenty of power. Yeah, everybody's like juicing up their stuff. 
I'm probably gonna get in here and steal some too. Everybody has a GoPro. And here was our shift last night. So seven to 10 was Wally right there. 10 to one was Jack, the captain. I'll let you meet him. One to four was Ryan. Four to seven was Bill. I held an hour of that shift. And seven to 10 was eight. That's me. Three different batteries we're checking on. Up top is the house battery. Down is the engine. House. So 13.8, 14.04 going in. Charging up right now. Um, you can check the state of your batteries. It's floating right now there you can see. So all of your DC items over here. Shower sump pump, freezer winch, bilge pump, blah, blah. AC over here. You've got all your water heater, air conditioner, saloon outlets, all the fun fancy stuff. Shut that up. Typical kind of household stuff here. I didn't even know we had stowage in the cabin. Would everyone like a sandwich? It was nice to have everything run to and easily controlled at the helm. I also wanted to share with you a couple other features about this boat that Jack's better half pointed out to me before we left the dock. I just like showing off the oh, boat. I, got my I love it. Oh, nobody cares about that. Man, look at this. I feel like a big deal. Holy crap. This is really nice. Which so many of these cats don't have that you can really, really see. There's a, a blind spot right here that they've got a camera. Oh, where's the camera? The camera will be, it, it's up on the mast, but you can see right here, so you can oh, get directions. Oh, that's helpful. Oh, it's all power. Right here. Everything comes. These are all electric? Yep. Oh, yep. Wow. They're not, they don't change gears and they don't reverse, but they've got quick buttons down here. Oh, I see. Okay. Everything comes to the to, the helm. To, to the helm. To the all helm. The lines, yeah, nice. All the lines. All of them. Thank Lori for the great tips. She is an avid blue water sailor having just completed the Arc to Europe 2016 rally where Philip and I coming behind found her badge in the Azores. Since Lori sailed on a 50 foot Beneteau, the SV Testarossa, and I sailed on a 46 foot catamaran, we compared some notes about the pros and cons of cat versus monohull, which if you're interested, I made a short video of here. Now let's get back to the Gulf. <laughs> Get crazy out here. Airport Bay. Two down the tanks. Uh, plenty of life jackets. Got our man overboard inflatable pole. Do not open, just throw. Um, I just learned about that uh, from Captain Ryan recently. You throw it in the water and it just whoop, inflates like a big man overboard pole, inflatable pole. Um, so very cool. That's a neat device. Got our grill here, the magma.
giving it speed. So we had uh, uh, Ryan had showed me before on Libra before we did the Las Vegas Regatta race how to clean the speed wheel. Um, and it involves putting a hole in the boat when it's in the water. So kind of uh, hair raising, but I will show you. quarters. It's pretty cool. I love that. So pretty. And then this guy, I'll show you. You'll like this. So if you're the captain and like you don't want any part of this offshore voyage crap, you're like, I'm gonna go down to my berth and I'll see you later.
I hope you all have enjoyed the tour of this 2013 Leopard 48. She definitely was impressive offshore, fairly comfortable, as much as you can be in 8 to 10 foot seas. A little bashing, but a very nice catamaran to take across the Gulf. A great sitting area in the front, and plenty of space as you can see in each berth on the port and starboard side. But it's time for this sailor to get back to work and get this boat to Naples. The rest of that offshore trip guys was the most swim I've ever been in. By far worse conditions than the entire Atlantic crossing. But also an amazingly compatible crew thrown together for a very, very memorable adventure. Want more? Go to havewindwilltravel.com and check out our Gift of Cruising campaign, our Atlantic Crossing movie, Countdown to Cuba, books, blogs, videos, I can't even keep up anymore. Patrons get free access and viewing to any of my content, and now a $250 discount on any offshore voyage on SV Libra. Book today. Get inspired and get on board. Sail, do you have any even sailed it? Beside, a trimaran I'm putting this in my cockpit. I'll be right back. Oh, hey, oh he's talking about oh, his cockpit. He's cock putting stuff in his cockpit. <laughs> Outtakes. Uh -oh. I like looking at y'all's legs, but yeah. bring them on down here. Dun -na, oh, you're dun -na, somewhere dun -na, in the Caribbean. Dun -na, dun -na. Hey, you crack me up, girl. Come here, I'll talk to you guys. <laughs> All right. Hey, where are we at in the Caribbean? You're totally cracking me up. <laughs> Wait. GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, pay attention. GoPro. You're not getting any more charging until you start paying attention. I can't say GoPro highlight. No, go beep. GoPro, stop recording. I'm selfie and I'm selfie and everybody's selfie, and, okay? Isn't that <laughs> hilarious? Are you ready, set, selfie? Yeah, let's all selfie, oh, selfie. Oh, God. I know, right? <laughs> oh, still recording. I forgot all of that. That's going to be like selfie session. It's crazy. She's crazy. She's just crazy. It was terrifying. The whole trip was, and she was up there going woo woo. The whole trip was terrifying. I didn't say anything. Don't tell him I said anything. Don't, especially her. Thanks, Annie. None of this would happen without you. Hey, while you're down there, will you grab me a coke?